Ready? Okay, so we're gonna watch this video we just took um, of Mike. Mike. When I did, I'm the overseeing analyst and I implemented, so I'm putting my name at the top. Our R2s um, are saying the word no, pushing away, are pushing toward, like pushing someone and moving away. Our R1s are um, screaming, pinching, slapping, and elopement. So what I'm gonna do is as we watch this, if I have my SR condition available, which you'll see I do, I'm gonna start my line here where it says SR. So I'm gonna say I'm in SR. We went really fast on this video, so I'm just gonna do this ahead of time so we can watch it. Um, but we wanna have five minutes at a minimum, and Greg Hanley says you can be flexible about this, go with the flow, where you're in SR with no R1s or R2s in SR, where you also have HRE. So when you know your client is HRE every 30 seconds of a whole interval, you're gonna check they were HRE that whole time. For Because this is only like a 45 second HRE opportunity, I'm just gonna put this here to note that we're speeding this up. So as we watch this, Mike is in SR and we're gonna start our analysis. We're hanging out. If I'm taking data at the same time, I'm just gonna keep my line going. And every 30 seconds, I'm gonna check in with my, check my video and see, did Mike stay HRE that whole time? So let's just say that was 30 seconds and he's HRE, yep. Keep my line going. He's in SR, he's in SR, there's no EOs placed. Let's say it's been 30 seconds, he was HRE the whole time. So we're gonna keep doing this until we have five consecutive minutes in SR with no problem behaviors in SR with Mike being HRE, happy, relax, and engage. When we, when we reach the point where we had five solid minutes of HRE, we're gonna place our EO. So we're gonna just keep watching until our EO is placed. Mike's stimming, we're having so much fun. Hillary is giving all of her attention the way she should. She's available to him if he wants to play with her and he's choosing to play on his iPad and make a mess. Oh, he wants some social attention. Sweet, give me a thumbs up. You got it, buddy. No distractions for Hillary and Mike has all the things he could ever want available to him. <laughs> he's got some great ball rolling skills. <laughs> and we're gonna admire this. This is great. He's nothing here is inappropriate. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it so, and go back a little bit. So as you can see here, I only made it a minute and 15 seconds for brevity, but at that point, I'm putting my EO in. So on my data sheet, I, my SR and HRE are ending and I'm placing my EO. So I'm gonna put a line right here to say, I moved into my EO. And now I'm gonna keep this EO in place until I hit criteria for my R2 to reinforce. So let's see what Mike does when I place my EO. It's time to be all done. No. Okay, so I said time to be all done. Immediately, Mike kind of pushed me away and said no, which classifies as an R2. So I'm gonna draw a little line up saying, I got my R2 behavior when I placed my EO. How beautiful is that? And I immediately relinquished and we went back to SR. So now in SR, from this point onward, and again, you should go with the flow, but you need a minimum of performance-based 30 seconds consecutive of HRE in SR with no problem behavior. So we're gonna see, do we get that? So I'm gonna, on my data, move back to my SR line and wait, hopefully for 30 seconds, although I don't do that in this video because um, I didn't want it to be super long. So we're just gonna pretend it's 30 seconds and every 30 seconds I'm gonna check, was he HRE? And he is, he's HRE, so I'm gonna put my X. Okay, I've had 30 seconds of HRE at this point and I can place another EO once I meet that criteria. Some learners might need longer than that. So just, it should be performance based on what your learner needs. Oh, Mike wanted some social attention. I'm providing it non-contingently, but it's his decision. I'm available to him. And look, I placed another EO. That was almost actually 30 seconds. So I placed another EO, so I stood up. I'm gonna move my line up here saying I stood up. I clapped, I placed my EO. Go back a little bit. And immediately got that R2 again. So I'm gonna draw my little line and I immediately gave access to SR again. So I'm gonna move back down to my SR line. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I get five repetitions 
of placing an EO, getting a small problem behavior, reinforcing it, getting back into SR, getting HRE for at least 30 seconds, if not longer, before placing my EO again. So we're gonna just keep doing this. I'm gonna check every 30 seconds when I get back into SR is the HRE. This learner is beautiful, just small R2s, gets right back to HRE, is super happy, relaxed, and engaged. So every 30 seconds or so, maybe longer, I'm gonna place my EO, see if I can get problem behavior. So on that one, what you can see is I placed the same EO as before. I said, okay, Mike, it's time to be all done. I started to walk towards him. He did not engage in problem behavior yet. So I turned up the heat. Typically right here when I was walking towards him is when he would have problem behavior, but he didn't engage in it. So I started to move towards the iPad to turn the heat up and then I got my problem behavior. So it was just a little bit longer in my EO. These are 30 second boxes. It's really hard to dictate or indicate that it was any shorter or longer. So I'm just gonna put that there. And again, I immediately reinforce, we go back to SR. I'm gonna give him 30 seconds of, and I want him to HRE with no problem behavior in that interval. And I'm waiting for him to get there. He's back at HRE, we're great, golden. What a beautiful PFA. I'm available, ready, happy. And I'm gonna place my EO again when it's time. And again, for this video, I went really fast. But here I go, any second now. <laughs> Stand up, clap. And now what's happened is this beautiful exchange between Mike and I, so I got a little one again, where he's like, huh, I don't have to get so big. I'm just gonna do a really, really, really low problem behavior. See, you notice there was no slapping that time, no pushing away, shaped down so pretty. Now I'm gonna go back to my SR condition again. I'm gonna try to get, I'm looking for that 30 seconds at a minimum of SR, no problem behavior, happy, relaxed, and engaged. When I meet that criteria, I can place my next EO. Again, some learners need longer, so this should be based on what your learner needs. And we're looking for five repetitions. As soon as I get that, I can terminate my PFA. Yeah, he wants that social attention. I'm available, ready to offer it, not, not distracted. Stimming, woohoo, playing with those puzzle pieces. And that was it. That was my last EO. Placed it. Got my problem behavior. We have one, two, three, four, five. Clear control. There's no problem behaviors in SR. What a beautiful PFA. And we have reached control and we can move to treatment.